what is the tiny house projects all about uh, it's an initiative started by our school um, where we are rethinking about how high schools should be designed uh, we see, see that static high schools uh, have not changed in the last 80 years the one thing that Maya Mira is trying to do is trying to redesign get a refocus on how students are engaged more in trade schools um, not necessarily pushing kids towards college uh, but exploring different avenues so building our tiny home is a way that we can meet a couple of those things one of the ways is if a person's interested in carpentry um, they can join my class if they're in interested in automotive or culinary or even what you guys are doing um, an exploration of different careers so that kind of helps out with our redesign the second thing that we're doing is we're addressing uh, low-income housing in our community and how houses are just too expensive you can't afford one but a tiny home is not going to be cost as much as a real home who is working on the houses who's working on the houses all of my carpentry classes are working on First year, second year, roughly about 100 students are, are building this home. What do you plan to do with the houses once they are built? I don't plan to do anything. Actually, the school is planning on selling them, auctioning them off to people who are low income. What kind of attention is the whole project getting? What kind of attention is the whole project getting? Well, we've been um, talked about in KOB news. Uh, we have a couple public radio stations that are talking to us. Um, USA Today did a little excerpt on us. Uh, I, I think that's it. Think. Are you surprised by the attention the project is getting? I do. Um, I am surprised the attention that we're getting. Our little town, Gallup, New Mexico, you can see tiny homes being built in high schools all over America. Um, but I think it's because our administration um, Mr. McFarland, how he's been pushing out into the community and talking about this a lot. I think positive feedback coming from our community is a great thing. I'm just really surprised. Is there anything else you want to tell us that we forgot to ask? Hmm. Is there anything you want me to tell you that you guys forgot to ask? Um, I would say that once my kids complete the tiny home and this year, they're going to be walking away with four different credentials that they can walk onto a job site. Um, they're going to get their OSHA card, which means that they're going to be very safe. Um, we're going to try to get them a CPR card to get them certified through that. Uh, we also have a program called NCCER, which is um, a curriculum that UNM does, um, Navajo Technical University uses, CNM in Albuquerque. And so once they leave my class, they'll have a certificate in that. Um, they also have a Ramset powder actuated uh, gun certificate. Um, so I think having these certificates, they can walk onto a job site and be more hireable than just anybody with no credentials. Thank you.